I guess it was in about 1995 that uh, I decided to get out of the commercial end of things uh, art-wise, although I had been into various other things, mostly television, strangely enough. But um, the time had come to hang up my magic markers and and try something else. And I, you know, I thought, you know what? You've been working in this business for 43 years, and with a with a goal in mind of maybe someday finding out whether you're an artist or not because you can't really tell when you're doing commercial art. But I always had this, this hankering to be a painter. I guess that's the easiest thing. So at that stage in the game, I um, changed my whole lifestyle. I bought some property on Vancouver Island. And I said, OK, big shot, this is the time to put up or shut up. Because now you've got the time to find out whether you're a painter or, or a fake. So I put up a house, a couple houses actually, that uh, one of which I lived in and it was a nice studio. And so I started to paint, seriously. I had a, a little gallery that I could show my stuff in. And I guess through the years, I progressed from guessing to actually having a product that I felt, eh, it's not bad, not bad. I've seen worse. <laughs> and um, so that stuck with me. Um, I think the, the best thing that happened to me was, uh, and I, I'm talking as a city guy who lived all his life in Toronto, a big city, finished his career here in Vancouver, a big city, and ended up in both primarily a cow pasture on Vancouver Island. And I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. It was so wonderful. I loved every second of it. There were some, there were some shortcomings to the thing. Uh, I tried the city thing again in Nanaimo, <laughs> which is not really a city. But, um, and, that's, and that's where I sort of ended my island life and came back to, to the mainland. Um, and, and my life has progressed from there. The thing that I'm happy about is that my art seems to be progressing with me. And I look at my art today and I think that it's better than it was three years ago. That's encouraging, and an artist needs that. They need, they need to be able to look at, at, at their stuff and say, you know what, I think, I think I've, I'm getting a handle on it. You'll never, you'll never be able to sit back someday and say, damn, that's good, wow. One of the, one of the ways of doing that, of course, is to sell, because that's the ultimate, um, that's the ultimate acceptance of you as an artist is if people like your stuff enough that they'll say, yeah, I'll pay 150, 200, 500, 1,000 for that. Yeah, I really like that. Then you're sitting back and say, hey, I must be doing something right. When that doesn't happen, it can be very discouraging. And of course, one of the things that gets in the way is the market. If the market is saturated with good artists, then you are going to have a tough time. If the market is down from an economic viewpoint and nobody's selling, <laughs> welcome to the club. And I guess that, um, you know, if, if it gets to that stage in the game, you just have to say, okay, I'm not gonna try and paint to sell because I'm not selling. I'm gonna paint for me. And I'm gonna paint stuff that I'll say, yeah, not bad. Yeah, done okay, kid. And, and that's where I am right now. I don't even try to sell. I used to. And I did okay for a while. Not to the point where I could ever sort of sit back and say, yeah, I can pay my rent and pay for the car, etc. through my paintings. <laughs> Forget it. But um, every once in a while, some, somebody would come along and say, I like that. I want to buy it. So 
as long as I can bring pleasure to somebody, whether the person buys it or even pleasure to me for having done it, then that's okay. That's, that's about where I am as a painter right now. And I persevere. The only thing wrong with all of that is that I've got an itinerary of paintings that someday my poor daughters are going to have to get rid of. That's not nice. That's not nice. They come into my studio and they say, uh, and I'll say, oh, look what I just did. And they think, oh, God, that's another one I have to get rid of. And um, yeah, I feel badly about that. So at one stage of the game, I started giving away my art, which will help the, <laughs> help the bottom line a little bit. <laughs> but that's, uh, yeah, that's basically it for me as an artist.